So today we're learning about order of operations with integers. So before you even start this video, you need to make sure that you reviewed your notes on adding integers, subtracting integers, multiplying integers, and dividing integers. You're going to need all of that information in order to be able to do these questions. So if you haven't done it, go back right now, go ahead and review it before we get started. So when we're looking at order of operations, we're always looking at bed mass, B-E-D-M-A-S. The B stands for brackets. Now, a bracket can be something that is holding an equation in, so you always solve what's in the bracket. But what students get confused is when there's a number and a bracket next to it with another number in it. This is not the same bracket for bed mass. This simply means multiplication. So this would mean that it's 2 multiplied by negative 2. This is not a separate bracket with an equation in it. It is only to make sure that the negative sign is separated from the multiplication sign. Okay, So this is not the kind of bracket we're looking at. I'm going to show you another example of what the bracket that we're not looking for. So when there is a question with a bracket um, similar to this again, this is not the kind of bracket that you're talking about when we talk about brackets in bed math. This is just separating the operation from the integer so that you don't confuse them. Okay, so the next thing in bed math is exponents. And again, we're just going to go ahead and explain what exponents are so you know what it looks like. So if I have 3 to the exponent of 4, that doesn't mean 3 times 4. This is wrong. That is not what it means. An exponent means 3 multiplied by itself by the number that is at the top right-hand corner. So in the top right-hand corner, in this case, is a 4. So I multiplied my 3 three times, four times, because my exponent said to do it four times. So that's what an exponent is, and that's what that exponent looks like. So now the next thing we're looking at is multiplication and division. That's the next two things that fall into bed mass. And you always do it in the order from left to right. So whatever appears from the left side, you do first before you move on. So if a multiplication a part of the equation is there first, then a division, then you go ahead and you do the multiplication first. If it's the other way around, if it's a division first and then a multiplication, you go ahead and you do it in the order that it appears first. So whichever appears first from left to right, and the same goes for the A and the S, which is addition and subtraction, you do it in the order from left to right. So make sure you've understood bed mass before we continue on. So now let's do an example. So I'm going to give you a question, and we're going to go ahead and solve it. So the question is the one that you see on your screen. Please copy it down, and we're going to go through it step by step so I can show you how to solve it. So we look at this equation. The first thing we need to solve is, in bed mass says, to solve the bracket. So we're going to be solving the bracket part first. So we go ahead and we copy the question down exactly the way it is from the beginning because we're not changing the 2, we're not changing the 5. We are changing the numbers written in the brackets, so we're going to go ahead and do the math. 7 minus 10 is negative 3. So we wrote our number in. Now again, we follow bed mass. Bed mass says now the next part of bed mass is exponents. Are there any exponents? No, they're not. I'm going to continue down. Uh, there's division. Is there any division? No, there's not. Then the next part is multiplication. So I look at this question. This is my multiplication. When there's a number in a bracket, I know that I have to multiply. So I'm going to go ahead and write that out so I can remember that. I don't want to forget that I need to multiply. So I go ahead and I do my next step. 2 plus, um, two plus 5 times negative 3. 5 times negative 3 is going to be negative 15. 2 plus negative 15, again, when we're adding integers, we remember that when the signs are different, we are finding the difference. So what is the difference between 2 and 15? The difference is 13. Which number has, uh, which, which number has, which is the bigger number with the sign? So 15 is the one that is holding the sign. It's the larger number out of the 2, and it is negative. So my answer is going to be negative 13. Let's do another example. So I have negative 6 plus 5 multiplied by 9 subtract 
15. So again, following the order of, following bed mask in order to do order of operation, I know my first thing that I'm going to be doing is my multiplication because there are no brackets, there are no exponents. I'm going to do my multiplication first. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start. I'm going to copy down the question, the first part, because I'm not changing that. But 5 times 9 is 45. And I'm going to leave my minus 50 because I didn't change, change that. Now what do I do next? I have addition and subtraction. In bed math, subtraction comes first. But the rule was whichever one comes first from left to right. So in this case, the addition comes first. So I'm going to go ahead and solve the addition. So again, looking at adding integers, when I have two integers with different signs, I find the difference. The difference between 6 and 45 is 39. I keep the sign of the larger number. The 45 is larger. I keep it a positive. I copy down the rest of the equation just the way it is. Now, when subtracting, the best thing to do is either go ahead and subtract if you if you can do it without following the rule, but I am going to go through it with the rule just on the side here so you can follow along. Now, if I look at that question, it's 39 minus 50. I leave my first integer the same sign. I flip my operation. I flip my integer. It becomes a negative 50. Now my signs are different. I am finding the difference. The difference is 11. The operation, sorry, the number with the larger sign is 50, so my answer is negative 11. Now, I'm going to give you a question. I want you to copy this down. I'm not going to give you the solution yet. I want you to copy the question down. I want you to pause the video. And then I want you to go ahead and try to solve it. So go ahead and pause. Okay, welcome back. I'm hoping that you've gotten the solution. I'm going to go through it with you so you can actually take a look at the answer and make sure you've understood it. So, again, my negative 2 doesn't change. Order of operation says that I need to do the brackets first. But in this case, I can't do the brackets first because my bracket has an exponent in it. So I have to go ahead and solve that exponent. 5 multiplied by itself 2 times. So 5 times 5 is 25. I copy that down. I leave the rest of it the same. Again, now I go down to my next step. Now I'm going to actually solve what's in the bracket. So 25 minus 30. And again, you can flip it and do it, and you will get the same answer. It's negative 5. Again, we're moving down. Order of operation says my next step is multiplication. So again, like I said, when there's a number next to a bracket without a sign, you know that's operation, is going to be multiplication. So 3 times negative 5 is going to give me negative 15. Now, negative 2 plus negative 15. When the signs are the same, you find the sum. The sum of the numbers is 17, and you keep the same sign. So my answer is negative 17. So I'm going to give you one more to try on your own. Again, I want you to pause the video at this point. I want you to try this equation out and then come back and see if you got it right. So go ahead and pause. Okay, welcome back. Now that you're back, I'm going to go ahead and solve it so you can take a look at how we're doing this. Again, similar to the previous question, my bracket has an exponent in it, so I'm going to go ahead and solve the exponent first before I continue. So I'm going to copy down the first part the same. 3 times 3 is 9 plus 8. Now in my next line, I am going to solve what's in the bracket. So the first part is copied, being copied down exactly the same. 9 plus 8 is 17. Now again, I look at my equation. I look at bed mass. Bed mass says to do multiplication and division next. I know this is multiplication because the number next to a bracket. So I'm going to go ahead and do my multiplication. So negative 25, 17 times 17 is going to be 289. Again, now you, I have a subtraction question. And for subtraction, I'm going to follow the rule that I know. So again, my first part of my equation remains exactly the same. My second part gets flipped. So my operation gets flipped. My integer gets flipped. So now I have the addition of, sorry, just correct that so that looks right. So I have the addition of two integers 
with the same sign. So I know when I have two integers with the same sign, I'm finding the sum. So you go ahead and find the sum of this. And the sum of this is going to be, I'm sorry, I'm just going to move down to the side here because I'm running out of space. The sum of this is going to be 314. And again, what sign do I keep? I keep the sign of the larger integer, and the larger integer in this case is a negative, so my answer is going to be a negative. I'm really hoping that you got those two equations right. If you didn't, I want you to go back and retry them. Make sure you've understood them. Tomorrow in class, you will be working on several operation of integer questions. And again, when you have questions in class, go back to the video and refer to it and make sure you've understood it. Good luck.